Yo, what's good, y'all, man? We got the Batman final update, all new clips and footage. So, um, yeah, but check it out, man. We just did a um a clip, like it was like a behind the scene clip type shit, you know, telling them like what Batman is and all the other stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? So you can watch that. Go on my other channel, man. But yeah, I just did that not so long ago. But now, but we got this one right here though. So yeah, all of it and shit like that because you know Batman coming out next week, March fourth. So it'll be a lot of Batman news and all that, you know, all that fun shit. So yeah, light it up, sub, and um, yeah, let's get it. Hey, I will be wearing the Pattinson suit for this video. I suggest you don't let your mom, your sister, your girlfriend, pervy uncle, watch this video. Can't help who they fall in love with, man. Oh, take it easy. <laughs> the Batman is almost final. No, that'd be fun. Here for us, and like with any movie that's being marketed, they are gonna throw everything they got. Yeah, they're gonna throw the clip. You know, they're like Marvel. They're gonna throw clips. Um, you know, a lot of you know, what I'm saying a lot of a lot of footage, man. Just a lot of footage. Gonna catch your attention. Uh, hopefully, get you to go see right. this new Batman film. And well, since I finally found out when I'm gonna be seeing the movie, and it's way sooner than I thought, I thought I'd go ahead and do a final update on what's the on like on, on the money type shit. The Batman movie before I actually witness it. Look at all these clips. I told right now. Along with a couple of featurettes, it. breaking all that down and really. Yeah, that's what it's called featurette. That's what it's called featurette. Yeah, getting us like behind type shit. Look, we're days away from watching this movie. So let me know what you guys think of these The Batman clips. Which is your favorite one? Are you starting to get a lot more interested into this movie? As well as letting me know when you're seeing this thing and if you're suiting up as well. As a quick side note, I do want to thank all you guys who have been supporting The Batman review videos. That means a lot to me. Alright, so going through each one of these The Batman clips, we do have about five or six in them. And I'll try to leave links in the description for you where you can find these clips. Because if I just play them in their entirety, Warner Brothers will be taking it down. But I'll show you bits and pieces. Yeah, because they... They ain't playing. They took they, they took my shit down. You know what I mean? They said they said they ain't the copyright. They said block. I'm like, God damn. But I already know. That's why I wasn't mad though. Like I ain't tripping about it. You know what I mean? Wonder Brothers. You know what I mean? I'm still watching y'all movies though. You know I ain't tripping Wonder Brothers. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna see no go to go to court shit type shit. Hell, not not for me though. Other other people, yeah. Not not me though. You know something? You know I'm cool with y'all type shit. <laughs> Going back to one of the very beginning clips that was released that I'm still so curious about the context here is when Batman Yeah, I was like damn he be hit bro. He turned around like he looked at him He turned right at, at the, um, the um, I forgot what you call the motherfuckers. He, he turned and look at him And he just he just look he look his fist went up his face like Bow, I think it was his I think it was his face, but yeah, he was just like Bow, and then he started running. You know what I'm saying? Because we saw the trailer used to run. It's like, when you run for the cops, well, hey, that, that's that's a clip right there. That Look, that's a clip. <laughs> but nah, that was crazy. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I'm, I'm confused on that shit too, but I just was like, like, that's crazy, man. Freaking crazy. knocks out Commissioner Gordon. I love the people who have made the edits and added in the Adam West Batman music. Oh, I did. I ain't. Did I hear that? I think I did. I ain't know. It just seems to fit so well. But every clip that they're releasing, especially these dialogue scenes, I am immersed into it. Like I feel like I'm watching the movie, and then when the clip goes off, I'm like, "Damn, where's the rest?" Yeah, I was, I was saying the same thing with um with the burglary um clip. You know what I'm saying? Even though that that got covered block, so that's why I you know I, I posted it. He got blocked, so y'all y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all didn't see it. But yeah, I saw that one too. And then I was like, damn, I want some more too. You know, I was saying same, same shit like, damn, I want some more some more clips, you know, but yeah, we gotta watch we gotta watch it on March fourth or, or anytime y'all watching on, you know what I mean? But yeah. I this feels very this Detective No R. If I had to make any assumptions to what's going on here, I'm assuming Batman just wants to keep up the appearance that him and Gordon aren't really working together and that they're enemies. That way Gordon can keep his yeah. job. And he also isn't a target for any of the dirty cops. Oh, yeah. That's why he probably like trying to keep his job. Yeah, that's that's right. He's trying to, that's, that's why he did that for. He's trying to keep his job. They trying to not not like each other, but they do like each other. You know that that type of um, relationship type shit. But um, we well, you know, on that friendship, whatever they want to call it. Just wanting to silence him. From there, yeah. another clip that was released was an extended. Yeah, I saw this one too, but it got blocked. But I saw this one um two days ago. Yes, I think it was yesterday. 
I think we guys said it on Twitter as well, yeah. Look at the Batman and Catwoman titled Cat Burglar, where Catwoman is going in to steal some yeah, stuff, still, yeah. and then Batman shows up. I like the way Batman actually sneaks up on Catwoman here. You're pretty good at that. Yeah, he's pretty good at that. Was, but um, also, the part I don't see many people talking about is how badass is it that you know the boy just came in through his grapple gun and then that thing just disappears? It's the same way it looked in the previous clip. It looks like. Oh, uh, yeah, like he just. He just. This is just all, all right here. Comes in and out of his hand. Oh, so yeah. It's not something he always has to grab from his utility belt. I think that's kind of awesome. Not to mention, I'm also digging this fight choreography going around and the way Pattinson looks in this suit. Maybe it's because I've been wearing it lately, but damn. This suit is really growing on me. The other clip that was released that I feel offers a lot of interesting context to what is going on with Bruce Wayne is this one that was released on a morning news show of Alfred telling Bruce That's Wayne how it is, that like, way back. Visitors from Wayne Enterprises, and Bruce is just annoyed and not wanting to deal with that. Counting friends at Wayne Enterprises are coming for breakfast. Here, why? Because I couldn't get you to go there. I ain't got time for this. It won't be long before you've nothing. I don't care about that. Any of that. You don't care about your family's legacy. What I'm doing is my family's legacy. I don't care what happens to me. That's all I'm afraid of. Ever. Mm, damn. Stop. You're not my father. I'm well aware. This clip really brings up something I was kind of worried about. Damn. Stop with Robert Pattinson's Batman because I did the video where I talked about the prequel novel where it gave us an insight to how Pattinson's version of Bruce Wayne feels about running a company and he's really not interested in it at all. He just wants to use the resources of the company and money without actually being a part of it. I feel like this might actually be a big arc in the Batman movie or at least I'm hoping because I like a Bruce Wayne that can earn his keep of managing a company but also being Batman. Still, you also see how committed this version of Batman is with saying he doesn't care if he loses the company because he yeah, you know, yeah, 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 this Batman right here, is, hey, I'm telling y'all, he's vicious. You know what I mean? He don't give a fuck about nothing. You know, this is a bad man that everybody like. I ain't gonna lie. Him being okay. Batman is the legacy he leaves behind. So we'll see yeah. by the end of this movie whether he puts on the suit to be Bruce Wayne or he just decides I'm Batman forever. Another clip here that is like directly pulled from the comics is this conversation between Robert I didn't see this Batman one. and Carmen Falcone. Or Falcone. You guys yell at me for saying it either way, man. So I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> His father saved my life. I got shot in the chest right here. I couldn't go to no hospital. So we showed up on his doorstep. Kid here, he he saw the whole thing up on the stairs looking down. This is information that is literally being pulled from Batman the Long Halloween. Oh, where Bruce Wayne knows that his dad saved this mob boss and he contemplates years later wondering if his dad should have just let him die. I love that Matt Reeves is taking actual comic inspiration, throwing it in here, adding it mm. to the lore. That's dope. I mean, I don't read comic books, but hey, that's dope. They, they pulling, pulling shit out the comic books. So yeah, I read comic books. You know, do y'all know? Let me know in the comments below. But that's dope, though. They pulling the shit out the comic books. Even though I don't read that shit. But that's, that's dope, though. Not to mention the fact he actually makes Thomas Wayne a surgeon in here, which is never really talked about. It's also interesting that in this clip, Bruce Wayne even brings up the whole thing about his father taking a Hippocratical oath, which is usually what doctors have to do when someone is in danger. You took an oath to go ahead and save them. I'm sure that's not too different to whatever oath he took as Batman. And heck, they're going so hard with this marketing, they just revealed another clip as I was editing this video, finally showing us what Paul Dano looks like as the Riddler. They have kept his face so hidden oh uh, yeah they did though no we don't care that now finally seeing his face yeah we see him I just yeah. laugh a little bit he said ah they're not even because like, the, the movie coming out next week so now they're gonna they told y'all they're gonna show everything now but before the trailer they wanted people to be like damn who, who who it is? Who? So now we know, yeah, now we know who, you know, the face is. And that's is. really nothing against Paul Dano. I'm just saying, it felt like they were hiding his face for a reason. And now that they've shown it, I'm like, why are we hiding this guy's face? It looks fine. From there, the full clips kind of end. And we get these couple of featurettes on the Batman. One focusing on his Batmobile and Bat gadgets that, yes, I love when Batman is going to utilize his gadget. And it seems like that'll be a big thing in this movie. But before that, I got to go ahead and admire this shot that they revealed in the featurette. Let's creep on that. Oh, yeah, I saw, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, we saw this um, not so long ago, like today. How they they dropped it. In it. And how much is advisory that's scared of it? 
Remember when Matt Reeves was talking about the Batman feeling like a horror movie? I think this is what he meant. It's going to feel like a horror movie from the perspective of the villains in the film. The way Robert uh, yeah, Pattinson was creeping true. in on the penguin right there and the horrified look on his face, that is Batman feeling like a horror villain, and I love to see it. He also goes on to explain that you'll really be able to get to see the handmade feel of all his gadgets and weapons in this movie, to where it looks like Batman damn grapple guns a couple of thugs' his legs in this movie. It's a moment of showing how to do it yourself. That is some brutal stuff. Yeah, but yeah. also finally putting this conversation to rest because it was one of the things that everyone started talking about as soon as they saw Robert Pattinson's chest in his new bat suit is everyone saying it was fact that the bat symbol was made out of the gun that killed his parents when now we know it's not that. His tactical knife is actually stored as part of his chest plate and is actually his bat logo. It's what I always knew all along because it just looks like a switchblade. And just like with my costume, it comes on and off. They even go ahead and show us a sneak peek sequence of him using that switchblade. Oh, action. yeah, I, gotta admit, I see This it. is a shot in a Matt Reeves Batman movie I was not expecting. Doesn't this look kind of out of place, but I feel in a good way? Just seeing Batman kind of yell, get electrocuted, and then it looks like he's going to be falling to water. We're complaining about how much they're showing us, but you got to remember, in total, this is maybe like five, seven minutes of footage out of a three-hour movie. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. This is three hours how much they're showing us but you gotta remember in total this is maybe like five seven minutes of footage out of a three hour movie yeah that's what i said this bitch like that's what i was telling y'all like they ain't showing like like i said like they ain't nothing movie though most some movies probably will show a lot of shit but a lot of movies could they could show like shit but guess what it's three hours it's three hours it's three hours long though for we don't know what's in the beginning of the movie we don't know what's in the middle of the movie we don't know what's at the end of the movie you know, so we just know little pieces of the movie, you know what I mean, type shit. So yeah, this is, this is, this is gonna be a long ass movie. But guess what, it's Batman, so shit, I don't care how long it is. It could be five hours, you know what I mean, no cap. But nah, this bitch is gonna be, yeah, gonna be up there, no cap. There's probably so many other surprising shots that we have yet yeah, to see. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, a lot of shit. anything like this, I'm game for them. Just like in this Catwoman featurette that was also released, kind of detailing some of Selena Kyle's life, we get to see Robert Pattinson's Batman in his Night Stalker outfit. This is where he just pretends to be a regular Gotham citizen and does some investigating around town. And it looks like he's following Selena Kyle, seeing her drop down from a building. And again, I just love the cinematography going on in this movie. It's so beautifully shot. If that doesn't hype you up for this Batman, Man movie i don't know what else to tell you man because i am just chomping at the bit to see this damn film and warner brothers i need you to stop releasing stuff i don't have the self-control not to see new footage let me know what you guys thought about <laughs> which is your favorite bit of footage what are you most excited to see in the movie but also don't be forgetting to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already follow me on twitter at 3c films or on tiktok at 3c films but as always i'm chris pattinson take care um yeah <laughs> hey Leave a like to my channel. Let me know what y'all think about um, what footage y'all like, man, or, or clips. Mm -hmm. Let me know in the comment down below. But um, yeah, you know, let you know, let me know y'all gonna watch um Batman. You know, it's a new movie of Batman coming March 4th. Let me know in the comment below. But, um, yeah, like and sub, and um, yeah, right. peace.